back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification. All right, guys, welcome to day number 20 of this 30 days training program. So my name is Samuel. I'm a personal trainer right here, and I'm also a real estate agent in Colorado. So if you guys are in the market of buying and selling real estate property, make sure you guys give me a call. My information is on the introduction of this 30 days ACFT program, or you guys can also message me on my Instagram. My Instagram information is on the description below. All right, guys, welcome to day number 20. As I've already informed you guys on day number 19, the equipment you guys are going to need for today. So what you guys are going to need, you guys are going to need a stair stepper and you guys are going to need a TRX. So for the stair stepper, it's also like a stair master. So if you guys Google stair master, if you guys have a stair master at your gym, you guys, you guys can utilize this. So for a stair master, you guys are just climbing with your leg. It's just like walking up the stair. So just to build that quad for the spring drag and carry and also to continue to just work on the endurance on the uh, quad, especially you guys know that those muscles contribute whenever you guys are doing the uh, two mile run. All right, guys, so today is not going to be super hard. So the main thing is on the uh, steer master, we are going to be spending about 10 minutes, 10 minutes on the steer master. Then on the TRS, our focus on the TRS is going to focus on the core continue to build on those core strength for the leg talk so we are going i'm going to be telling you variation of our core workout with the trs it's going to be a little bit intense because there's some exercise that is super hard that you need to make sure you guys really pay attention while i'm um, explaining the uh, the workout all right guys let me go change and let's get ready yes all right guys this is this tm master right here it's gonna be a fun one. Just 10 minutes, nice and moderate pace. Get the quad nice and fun. Let get the glute nice and engaged. And let's get it. All right. 10 minutes is gonna start. Now, nah. let's get it. Nice and keep it going. Nice and working. Portion is going to be a little bit like dead silent. But when we move to the TRX, I'm telling you, you guys don't want to miss any part of that video or any part of that segment of the TRX. Because you guys are going to learn a lot of stuff that you can do with the car on the TRX, new exercise. That's gonna be super challenging. But if you guys are able to learn this stuff, you guys can just do it on your own. Especially a lot of you guys. Whenever you guys go to the gym and see TRX, you guys just think you can only do upper body walk. Just like roll, do some push-up, do some squat. That's, that's the only stuff I see a lot of people doing with the TRX. But TRX is just more than that. More than that. Tell you guys, 
doing TI, uh, doing car work with TRX is much more challenging than just doing car work with body weight. You guys are using body weight on the TRX as well. By the time of elevating your feet up and just making it more challenging, that is one thing that set working with the TRX for the core work apart. It's just nice and fun, especially when you're able to learn different exercises, different way to build those internal and external core, the oblique. Because you guys understand, there's a segment for the core. But if you guys are able to perform exercise that target all the segment of the core, Time of adding, we say killing uh, five beds with one stone. That's what we're going to do with the TRX. It should be nice and easy. It's nice and straight, just arm straight up. You guys can go faster. Time of the speed on this is still massive, but the main thing is I don't want you to be holding from the end of it. The reason why I'm going slow is because my hamstring is so sore from my arm. This was a separate workout I did, which was all about lower body. RDM, Romanian deadlift, sumo deadlift, with some heavy dumbbell. That's why my hamstring is a little bit swollen. That's why I'm just taking it nice and slow. But when we get to the TRX, we're going to take it up to another level. You guys can see I'm just nice and working my hamstring, nice and stretching those out.
Let's keep going. All right, let's have a two minute repeat. All right, guys. Hope you guys are ready for today. So on the TRX, we're going to hit it nice and hard, focusing on the car. You guys, I'm like so short. Let me step on something. Am I too tall? All right, just like that. All right. Get the car nice and engaged. Get the car nice and fired up. All right, guys. Get your water close to you. Get your water close to you. You guys are going to need that. All right, guys. Let's get it. So during the movement, what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to dorsiflex 
your feet. So I want you guys to push your heel against the end of the TRA. So right now I'm relaxing my feet. Does it flex? And nice and push my heel back against the TRA. All right. So in regarding to today's workout, there's what they call there's one principle we are going to be utilizing today. They call that the vector principle. So the vector principle has to do with where your leg is relative to the anchor point. So you guys understand the, uh, I know you guys maybe know what they call the pendulum experiment, whereby you guys just have the pendulum right there and bring it all the way up and all the way down. So at what point does the pendulum generate the highest kinetic energy? So you can see it's during the fall. That's when the pendulum generates the highest kinetic energy going up. So and at the top, right there, you have the what? The potential energy. Then when the pendulum drops to the other side, there's like a small pulse up top. That's another potential energy before coming down. So that's what we're going to be utilizing right there, right here. So like right now, you guys can see my feet is about relative in terms of in line to the anchor point. So if I push my leg all the way out, you can see I'm away from the anchor point. So if we do leg tuck, it's going to be easy for my leg to come in, but it's going to be a little bit harder to push up. It's just like uh, the pendulum going up requires a lot of energy, kinetic energy in order to reach the top. All right, guys, do a nice and doxy flex. All right, push yourself up into a nice plank. Nice and bring your hip up for 10. Now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, go down, just nice and relax, shake your hand up. All right, make sure there's equal tension on both sides of the TRX. All right, does it flex? Come back up. Bring the hip up. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, drop down. Just nice and relaxed. We're going to do that one more time. One more time. You guys ready? Does it flex your feet? Push yourself up. Bring the hip up. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, just nice and relax. It's nice and relax that. Just relax. All right, now we're going to go to the elbow plank. The same thing. Keep your body nice and straight. Keep your body nice and straight. Bring the hip up a little bit. Because the tendency of the TRM is to nice and drop down your arch, your back. So you don't want that. Just nice and bring your hip up. So as to orient, so as to orient, just the hip a little bit up instead of going down. All right. Get ready. Elbow plank. Let's go up. Bring the hip up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Drop down. All right, come back up for ten. Now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, drop back down. One more time. Let's go up for ten. Now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, drop back down. All right, how you guys feeling? All right, next one is going to be leg top. So it's going to be straight up plank, leg top. So it's going to look like this. So I'm going to come back up in the straight up plank, equal tension, bring my knee in and push it out. Just like that, push it out, engage in the core. So we're going to start with 10. It's going to be 10 legs up, then you come back down, relax, come back up, do that again, relax, come back up, do that again. That's going to be a three, uh, three set of 10. You guys ready? Let's get it. Get ready, Does it flex your feet. All right, come back up, hip up, let's go. Here we stand. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. All 
Wah, gue padah udah berlaku Dah set number one Alright, does it feel uh, <laughs> Does it flex your feet? Set number two Come back up Let's go Here we stand Now Eight Seven Six Five Four Three Two And one Go back there Just nice and relaxed Relax your feet. You got one more time, one more time. Are you guys ready? All right, get ready. Just flex your feet. Push yourself back up. Bring it in. Well, let's go. Here we stand. Now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back there. Just nice and relaxed. Bring your hand all the way up. Just nice and relax the shoulder. All right, next one is going to be mountain climbing. So for mountain climbing, you have to make sure there's equal tension on both both sides of the stair right. If not, it's just going to be coming up and down. Equal tension, and just give me 10 legs up. Are you guys ready? All right, get ready. It's going to be starting from our straight hand plank. Does it flex? Push yourself back up. Bring your left knee in. Let's go, switch. Here we stand. Now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Go back down. Hope you guys understand what I mean by equal tension. If you guys don't get equal tension, you're just gonna be going up on equal the whole time. Make sure you guys get some equal tension on this. Alright, set number two. Alright, just a flex. Make sure it's nice and equal, nice and equal. Ready? Push yourself back up. Bring your right knee in. Switch, let's go. Here we stand. Now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go back there. All right, one more time. Just a flex. Push yourself back up. Let's go. Here we stand. Now, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. You guys can see. It's like on the even amount, it's like going up and down. Alright, are you guys feeling? Hopefully that's not too bad. That's just two exercises. Now we're going to do two sets of the combination of these two exercises. So it's going to be five leg tuck, five mountain climber. You're going to rest. Then do it again, five leg tuck. Five mountain climb. Then I'm, we're gonna go to the next exercise. Just nice and relax your feet. All right, bring your hand all the way out. Relax the shoulder. Form on your finger. Go back down. Push yourself back up. Now walk your hand to the side. Back up. Bring your hand back in. All right, hope you guys understand that. Just two sets of the combination of the two exercises we previously completed. So it's going to be five, leg tuck, then five, mountain climb, then you rest, then you do it again. All right, just flex your feet. Get ready. I'm going to push myself back a little bit so I can really get that full range of motion. All right, push yourself back up. Let's go, five, leg tuck. Here is five. Four, three, two, one. Mountain climber, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go back there. Ready for set number two? All right, push yourself back up. Let's go. We're going to do reverse. Mountain climber first, then leg tuck. Let's go. Mountain climber, let's go. Here is five, four, 
three, two, and one. Let's go five, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. It's nice and relaxed. So the main thing is especially for the mountain climb. If you guys really put that tension on both sides to make sure it's nice and even, distribution of forces on both sides, you guys are going to feel it more on the curve. So you guys just don't want to be uneven. All right, that's just two exercises. Hope you guys are feeling good. Hope you guys are feeling good. All right. The next exercise is going to be pike. Pike. All right, this is the main thing why you need to make sure you dusty flex your feet. So the main thing with the pike, when you come up into like a V, v shape with your leg and your body and your hand, when you come up into like a V shape, so during the start, whenever you guys are returning to the starting position, make sure your back is not arching backward. So make sure you keep that nice and neutral spine. Because the tendency is, after you guys come up from the pipe, your goal is not to come and relax and drop your belly down, creating that arch in the back, and you don't want that. So let me show you what pipe look like. So the main thing is, is you're really pushing on the end with your heel. You're really pushing on the end with your heel. So pike is going to look like this. If you got shoulder issue, make sure you guys, you guys should know what you guys can handle. So if you guys can do this, that's okay. That's okay. You guys can do uh, what they call it. You guys can use uh, paper plates to also perform this. All right, we're gonna come up with a full plank. Then you go push the heel down and nice and extend it back. And extend it back just like that. And extend it back. That is what pike look like. You guys ready? We're not gonna do too much because there's a lot of tension, especially on the shoulder. So we're not gonna do too much. We're gonna start with five, then you rest, then you give me another five. You guys ready? I know you guys are ready, I know, I know that. All right, get yourself up. Make sure you dust and flex your feet. All right, push yourself back up. Dust and flex, let's go. Up, here is five, back down. Up, here is four, back down. Up, here is three, back down. Up, here is two, back down. Up, here is one, back down. Nice and relaxed. Woo. Nice and relaxed. Go do that one more time. Nice and tough, man. Shit, inside. Man. All right, ready for set number two? All right, just flex. Push yourself up. Let's go up. Here is five. Here is four. Here is three. Here is two. Here is one. And get your life. The main thing is all about control. All about control. You just have to bend whenever you extend it up nice and slowly. Control it down to the starting position. All right, that's how many exercises now? That's three exercises mountain climber, leg tug, and pack. Now we're going to combine those three together. So this is how it's going to work. So we're going to start a little bit light, just doing three. So you're going to start with three, mountain climber, three, leg tuck, three pike. Then we're going to move to five, five mountain climber, five leg tuck, and five pike. All right, guys, nice and relaxed. The shoulder. Get on your finger, tip. Nice and lower yourself down. Drop the elbow. Push yourself back up. Nice and lower down. Drop the elbow. Just nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. All right, bring your hand back in. Are you guys ready? 
starting with just three, make sure there's equal tension, equal tension on the TRX, especially for the leg up, for the uh, mountain climbing. Get ready, three, three, three. Let's go. Up, push yourself up. All right, mountain climbing, let's go. Here is three. Here is two. Here is one. All right. Leg up, let's go. Here is one. Here is two. Here is three. Pass, let's go. Here is one. Here is two. Here is three. All right, it's nice and relaxed. Hope that's not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Nice and relaxed. All right, guys, ready? Five, five, five. It's gonna be, it's gonna be coming. Uh, it's gonna get challenging now. It's gonna get super challenging. So just stick by it. Quality form, quality form. All right, get yourself ready. We're gonna start with mountain climbing. Just five mountain climbing. Five leg tuck, five pipe. All right, push yourself up. Mountain climber, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's up. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, don't bad that. Woo. That's not too bad, not too bad. How you guys feeling? All right, let's go to the side. So what you guys are going to do, you guys are just going to stack your feet on top of each other, just like that. Just make sure you are in line with the anchor point. Like you guys can see my, I'm a little bit away, so I'm just going to bring myself a little bit. <laughs> This way, all right. Let me readjust my TRX. All right, just nice and relaxed. All right, it's just gonna be side plank, side plank. We're gonna stay right here for about 10 seconds. Then what we're going to do, we're gonna bring one hand up and just tread the needle and just bring it straight up. So the first 10 seconds, just stack your feet, just like that, and just push yourself up, just like that. Then for the second one, you're gonna push yourself up, reach up, tread the needle, and back up, just like that. You guys can see my leg is like swaving back and forth. So you got to really use the car to keep it nice and stable. All right. This one. All right, you guys ready? All right. Let's get up. Plank, side plank. Let's go. Up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's nice and relaxed. All right, let's do the needle treading. We're just going to do five. That's five to start. All right, push yourself up. Bring your hand up. Try the needle. Let's go. Up. Here is five. Down. Up, here is four, down, up, here is three, down, up, here is two, down, up, here is one. Nice and relaxed. All right, gotta move the other side. Oof. Let's relax. Let's return to the other side.
You guys ready? Let's go. Come up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Drop down. Alright, I'm going to try the needle. Let's go. Lift up. Alright, try the needle. Just five. Up. Give me five. Up. Give me four. Up. Give me three. Up. Give me two. Up. Give me one. Nice and relaxed. Alright. Let's go back to the other side. So now this time, instead of treading, it, uh, treading the needle, we're just going to do some hip drop. Drop the hip down and bring it straight up. All right, get yourself ready. Take yourself drop, take yourself drop. All right. All right, you guys ready? Come up. All right, now can place your hand on your hip. Drop down, up. Here is 10, down, up. Here is 9, down, up. Here is 8, down, up. Here is 7, down, up. Here is 6, down, up. Here is 5, down, up. Here is 4, down, up. Here is 3, down, up. Here is 2, down. Up, here is one. Stay right there for five, four, three, two, one. Drop down, rotate, rotate to the other side. Alright, so I just want to touch base on just a few exercises today. So we can master these two exercises, uh, three, four exercises. So then next time, it's just going to be an additional exercise. But in order to finish today workout, what do you guys think is coming? So before we're done, so all just the three exercises, you guys need to do 20, 20 reps of each. 20 reps of each. If you guys need to take a break, make sure you guys do so. But make sure you guys get ready right as soon as possible. All right, so we're going to be starting with mountain climbing. It's going to be 20 mountain climbing. Then you're going to go to leg top. Then we're going to finish it up with pipe. 20, 20, 20 each. So that will be a total of 60 reps of the three exercises. All right, set yourself up. The last thing we're doing today. Alright, drop that stinky sucks. Drop that stinky sucks. It's just easy for people to understand when you say drop that stinky sucks with the TI. Because people sometimes try to like flip it over, but when you say drop that stinky sucks, they really understand it. 
All right. 20 months in climate, equal tension. Making sure the hip is nice and in line. Making sure the spine is nice and stacked together. All right. Get yourself ready. Mountain climber, let's go up. Let's go, 20, let's go. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, all right. Nice and rest. Ooh. Not too bad, not too bad, right? All right, next one. Leg tuck, 20 leg tuck. Try to readjust myself. All right, you guys ready? That should be enough rest, right? Get set, push yourself back up. Let's go, 20, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! The other one is going to be packed. Just for the pipe, you guys can only do five at a time. Get your five relaxed. Go back up, get your five. Do that. And if you guys can get the 20 in one shot, by all means, go ahead. Just nice and relax. All right, last exercise for today. 25, 25. All right, get up. Let's go. Let's swim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, if you guys don't hear me, counting the last uh, last set for the first ten for mine is because the camera just shut up. So, all right, so I just got ten more. And more to go. All right. All right. Let's get it. Let's get the last ten. Last ten. Last ten. Last ten. Up. Let's go. Give me ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh. Also help me stretch my arm strength a little bit. Since I was so slow from my workout. Ooh. All right, guys. The car should be nice, screaming. All right. That's going to conclude day number 20. Workout. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification. Let's continue to share this, to help one another. And why do we do this? Because we are going to ace the ACFT. Now if you guys are just doing this, just to stay healthy, to stay fit, just find a reason why you guys are doing this. Alright guys, that's it for day number 20. 
All right, let's worry about day number 21. So for day number 21, the equipment you guys are going to need, you guys are going to need a, a an elastic band. An, an elastic band. It's going to be like, a, what do they call it? It's going to be like an eat, an intense workout for 21. For day 21, it's going to be like an eat, an intense workout. So, what you guys are going to need, just grab an elastic band, and you guys are going to are also going to need a barbell. So you're going to need a barbell and elastic band. So the elastic band is going to be what you guys are going to need to put around your waist. Because we are going to be doing like a quick sprinting or order. Or just a hopping over several order. So that's what you guys are going to need. Alright guys, that's going to do it. Alright, Sam. Out.